Hi guys. So it's really good seeing you. Um, <laughs> even though I can't see you physically, it's really good talking to you, I guess. Um, I'm not sure how to put it. Today's video, um, I really wanted to answer a viewer request video that we wanted to do for a long time. I really just wanted to take the time to, um, like, really kind of figure out everything I wanted to say. Um, and I also wanted to combine this video with, um, you know, something that I've been, something I've been pondering over, just reflecting over the other day. And, um, I really want to go into the contrast between religion and the relationship we have with God and the rest we have with God. Now, I've gone over this before, but I feel like this is in a different way because particularly what I was thinking about the other day, I was like, you know, it was just kind of like everything was just clicking. And I was like, you know, Satan, he's the one that he wants us to know religion, but he doesn't want us to know relationship and he doesn't want us to know rest. And so I really want to go into just a huge contrast of kind of how we learn about Jesus and religion and who he is based on scripture um, and just go completely into it. This is probably going to be a really long video, but based on like the views that I get, you guys actually really like long videos, which is just absolutely fantastic, you know? Um uh, sometimes I feel like I ramble. This one's going to be a lot more organized because I have quite a few notes on my phone, but I'm really glad, you know, you guys will like this. Um, I really hope it ministers to you and educates you and, um, really for this particular video to set you free. Um, yeah. So grab your popcorn, <laughs> grab socks or a drink. Um, this is probably gonna be a long one, but um, I'm really glad to have you guys here. And um, yeah, I hope this video can really help you in the way that um, this has really helped me. So yeah, this is gonna be a combination video on trusting God in particular, um, not necessarily through like hard times and things like that. I'm going to be posting some videos that are going to be like related to that. But this is going to be based on maybe if you haven't um felt him close or you haven't seen him work in your life. Um or for anyone that just struggles to believe in God existence. So I really wanted to answer this video request. So here we go. So when I first um, saw this request in particular on how to trust God, um, it took me back to when I was four years old and hearing about Jesus's love for me. That you know, Jesus has died on the cross for my sins. In believing what Jesus had done, even though it was hard for me to comprehend, someone loved me that much to die for me. So I just want to first go to that. So believing. That God sent his only son to die on the cross for us. And believing, believing in that love. Because I, I hear people talk about, you know, God or, you know, believing God's existence or, but what it really points to 
is Jesus. You know, God does exist. But where we understand things more and more is that God, right, God created this world. And he created us. And he wanted to be in relationship with us. He didn't want anything to separate us from him. But God is completely holy and perfect. And we could only be in his presence in heaven if we were to. And obviously we are not. We've already fallen short. We've already broken the perfect standard it would require. So God sent his only son, Jesus, who was God in the flesh, who came to this earth and died for all our sins. For anyone that believes in God, you know, it's you know I'm trying to think of how to explain it. You know, it's like the meaning of life is is And the truth of life is found in Jesus. What do I what do I mean by this, you know? You hear a lot about how people create their own meaning out of life. their own meaning, their own purpose. And in this way, it's like, if we see life in that way, then we're just put here on this earth. And then, you know, we perish, right? Or if you don't see things in that way, then it's like, you know, we just create our own meaning out of this life. And... I didn't want to get into this topic. I had things written on my phone and it just started coming out. I'm not an apologist or anything of that sort. So I'm not great at explaining things. But do you understand what I'm trying to say? Is that, you know... Jesus. Everything points to him. I was going to say, you know, if you believe in God, 